All right, guys. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about everything new entering Dragon Ball Legends tomorrow night for the weekly reset update. Some stuff is already confirmed. Some stuff is expected, but we should be getting an official announcement tonight. And I'll make sure to keep you guys updated as soon as we get this official announcement and then as well some data leaks tomorrow. So yeah, guys, let's not waste any time. And by the way, I am not going to lie to you guys. I'm extremely confused as to what Dragon Ball Legends is trying to do. It feels like they're on vacation, honestly. Like, we should have gotten an announcement of a reveals and stuff yesterday, but we didn't. Uh, we'll talk about that in just one bit as well. But we, like I said, are expected an announcement tonight. Whether it be a brand new Zenkai, reveals and stuff, we don't know. But I'll keep you guys updated. So let's not waste any time. All right. So, okay. Uh, let's just really quick cover some stuff that's going to leave the game. We have six events in total leaving the game, which is going to be number one, God Challenge. Good riddance. I don't care about you, God Challenge. You were the biggest disappointment of 2024. Honestly, I don't think there's any more disappointment in the God Challenge. Um, I'm really trying to think of it, but uh, can't really quite find one. Um, so I expect this event to come out at least once a month. Um, kind of like full power battle, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is, right? I mean, th this event was just god awful in terms of like the rewards, right? I don't really care about the challenge. I actually love the challenge. Um, I'm gonna be very, I'm a very competitive guy. By the way, speaking about competitive, I cannot wait until Sparking Zero comes out. I'm definitely gonna be streaming that here on the channel, but that's besides the topic. So yeah, that's gonna leave. Also, the Zenkai Ultra Space Time Rush is gonna leave, get replaced by a brand new one. So we are gonna get this event coming back, as well as the event in the bottom, which is TOP, Terminal Power. I'm gonna end and get reset by a brand new season. So we have that as well. PVP is not gonna get reset. It's gonna uh, it's gonna get extended one more week until next week. Okay. Um, and we'll talk about what that means exactly, because that could also be tied into the brand new character. Now, the Path to Friendship, uh, you know, event is going to leave. I actually like this event. You know, at, at surface level, it seems like it's a useless event. But this actually gives out about 200 crystals a week. So, I'll take this. You know, I wish this event were to come back more frequently, if you guys ask me. 200 crystals is not a lot. But, hey, you know, I, I'll take what I can get at this point in time. And, by the way, if you guys check your gift box, you guys should be having at least 100 free crystals. Make sure, guys, uh, you guys grab that. Because Dragon Ball Legends had a spontaneous maintenance emergency um, thing going on. I, I was asleep, so I don't really care. I don't know what went on, but some people weren't able to log in. So claim your 100 crystals in your gift box. Um, Energize, Pan Event is going to leave. And the Super Gold Rush is going to leave, but at the very end of the week. Now, this event just came out right now. so But it's technically scheduled to leave at the end of the week, which is part of this upcoming week. So that's why I um, included it here, right? So two banners are going to leave, which is the Ultra Golden Frieza as well as the Ultra Rose. I expect the Ultra Rose unique equipment, or excuse me, the Platinum equipment to come out in the very near future. I would say towards Black Friday. Uh, mark my words, this is going to be one scary character to have a Platinum equipment. Uh, so yeah, and I've seen some people asking me whether or not you guys should be summoning on Ultra Golden Frieza. The answer is no. Do not summon on these characters. Trust me, you guys will regret it, right? If you get an Ultra, I mean, you guys can still summon on these, but you guys have a very solid chance to get shafted. So do you guys really want to get shafted as well as be dry on crystals before the next Ultra? Yeah, just trust me, guys. Save, okay? Now, we're going to talk about everything new entering the game. All right, so... <clears throat> Some stuff that's confirmed is the Ultra, um, not the Ultra, excuse me, uh, the Zenkai Rush, um, uh, new Terminator Power Season, which we covered. Okay, so let's talk about the new raid. I'm expecting a brand new raid to come out um, this upcoming weekly reset. We are currently under a movies campaign where we have to grab those movie medals, right? Those movie medals. But it's quite a pain to grab them. Um, I made a full video. If you guys want to go check it out, just scroll by. Um, here on my channel and you guys can see how to get those z metals so you guys can get those a thousand plus crystals but honestly guys i mean there's no really good way to farm these metals except for pvp at this point in time the raid is the best way so i'm expecting a brand new raid to come out this weekly reset um as well as potentially the equipment bonanza okay um typically these go hand in hand give or take so yeah, I'm expecting at least one of these two events to come out this weekly reset, which is going to be tomorrow night. Now let's talk about the new Zenkai guys. So they skipped out on the Zenkai last week. Of course, we were Zenkai-less last week, right? 
Um, we pretty much have been pretty dry in Dragon Ball Legends, surprisingly speaking. Um, they were supposed to come out with the um, the uh, guild battles not too long ago, but that got postponed as well until further notice, right? Which I don't really care about guild battles, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. Dragon Ball Legends does not know how to make a PvE mode. I just have my mind set on that. <laughs> I mean, I, I've... Besides story mode, I don't really care about any other PvE mode. Oh, and, and raids. I love the raids as well. So Zenkai. Let's talk about the Zenkai for one quick second. I made a full video last video, so I'm not going to touch on it too much. But we are expected a brand new Zenkai that is not Z related. So perhaps maybe a movies super or movies DB character, right? And if it's DB, we only have Path to Power. So think about Path to Power LF Goku, which I'm sure we're not going to get. As well as the Master Roshi, the Buff Roshi. Um, as well as Aider. So, don't think it's going to be that. So, it's probably going to be something super related. If I had to kind of guess, it would probably be Gamma 1 and 2. But not this Gamma 1 and 2. The LF Gamma 1 and 2. Even though I would love this character. I would have to guess maybe the old Gamma 1 and 2s. Like the original ones. The individual ones. Uh, the blue one and the green one. So, yeah. Perhaps. Maybe that's just a crazy guess. But uh, we'll wait and see, right? Because Toshi did confirm that we are going to get a Zenkai uh, that is not Z movies related. Now, okay, let's talk about the char where is the character? Okay, where is the ultra character? So we literally just got the limit break banner, which is the biggest indication as to when we're gonna get or when we're gonna get a crazy LF or ultra character coming Dragon Ball Legends, right? So we got this. This is gonna end. Technically speaking, we're gonna get an ultra or an LF, but we have yet to get a reveals and stuff announcement. Okay, so. I kind of doubt we're going to get an Ultra or an LF this week. Now, next week, PvP resets. So, perhaps maybe that's going to tie into the brand new PvP season. Okay? So, this is like the first time in a very long time, or actually the first time ever, I really saw the Limit Break banner come out and then us not getting an LF or an Ultra character. I have never seen this. This is like 90% of the time this happens. And we could still get the Ultra or an LF tomorrow night, but... uh. Like I said, we should be getting an announcement late tonight. And I'll make sure to keep you guys updated here on my channel. Just make sure you guys have those notifications bell on. Subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's really weird. Uh, but some other stuff that is confirmed is some very simple stuff, such as new adventures. Uh, typically speaking, we always also get new equipment and new PvP messages. So, I'm, I'm kind of expecting that. And if we don't get a brand new Ultra Banner, we can expect more bait banners to come out. Perhaps maybe a very juicy bait banner. Um, so maybe even Ultra Gohan coming back, even though that's not movies related, maybe Sun Family related. Who knows? We'll see. We're also kind of expecting, since we got the Bojack, perhaps maybe the Zenkai Purple Revival Gohan. But that doesn't really make any sense because we've gotten so many purple things already for this campaign. That's movies. Uh... Just an example, right? We have the Ultra Gold and Frieza, which is purple. We got the Platinum Equipment for Ultra Broly. We got the Free-to-Play uh, Super Saiyan Goten, which is purple, right? We got the Purple Unique Equipment for the Zenkai Turles, right? So we're getting a ton of purple stuff, but I'm not going to rule it out. Who knows? We'll see. I'm just waiting for the announcement tonight. I feel like Toshi is drinking coconut water at the beach at this point in time. So yeah. I'll keep you guys updated as soon as we get information. Um, but if you guys did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like the video, subscribe, and I'll definitely catch you guys in a few hours for the reveal. Catch you guys then. Peace.